All right, y'all, it is that time again. It is time for my 2023 end of season awards. Roll them. I guess we gotta start this year the same way we started last year. And it's not even an argument for me. I, it came down to three players. It was between Jimmer, Worthy, but of course it's Doc Strange. An unprecedented year, not only in the number of Masters wins, but his numbers individually is something that we've never seen in all of 3x3 history. He led in every single major statistical category, player value, points, rebounds. For a long time, he was number one in blocks, key assists, triple fives, double fives. There's nobody in the game that plays 3x3 like Doc Strange. He's truly a unique player. He wins MVP back-to-back -back years, not only for the league, but for me as well. Man, nobody's doing it like Doc Strange. He is the league MVP 2023. We've had some clutch bucket makers this year. We can go with some of the traditional big bucket hitters like Deion Majstorovic, but I gotta go with my guy, the gladiator, Stefan Milivojevic of Team Partizan. This dude has so many Maurice Lacroix buzzer beaters, they should consider him as a spokesman in the future. I mean, this kid has so much guts. He plays the game so hard, and he's never afraid to take that big shot. We saw him do it all year long as party sign continued to rise. This dude is the most clutch bucket getter of 2023. Give the man the ball and get out the way when the buzzer's coming. And I think I gotta break it up this year, I'm sorry. Normally I go with one player, but I wanna break it up to perimeter defender and rim protector. Perimeter defender, that is Damon Huffman, the tough man Damon Huffman of Team Princeton. If you ask around the league, players that hate to be guarded on the perimeter, they hate to see Damon Huffman in front of them. Now my rim protector, this one goes to Luis Cuascoot of Team San Juan. Luis Cuascoot, he's got the chase down block. He protects the rim unlike anybody else. This dude got more handles than Amsterdam. It just so happens he plays for Amsterdam. Who else could it be? It's that man, hype worthy, worthy de young. This dude is a specialist with the rock like a geologist. I've seen him do moves this year that I didn't even know were real moves. The way he changes pace in the paint, his zero step game, his crossover, his quickness, nobody handles the rock like worthy de young. This dude is a special talent, a unique player. I would never want to guard him because the only thing he has for you is embarrassment. Just ask several players around the league. It's hype worthy, best handles in the league. I'm going with Lado Antonio Ralat of Team San Juan. This dude came out of nowhere. He averaged six and a half points per game for San Juan. He's a certified bucket getter. Uh, and he's kind of re, reinvigorated San Juan. You know, I think that they're a real contender. He's the star, he's the spoon that stirs the tea for them. Antonio Rolot. I'm gonna go with the only team that won a Masters this year, but did not play at the World Tour Final. That is Hang Zhu, the dog pound. Hiya, 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 hiya. This team is a bunch of dogs, man. They're hungry, they're scrappy, they get after it, they're vicious. I like the entire collection of, of this team. And while they didn't make the World Tour Final this year, I think next year and going forward, this is gonna be a, a team that's gonna be a contender on a regular basis. They're young, they're hungry, they're dangerous. Look out for Team Hangzhou, y'all. I'm telling you, they on the way. I don't think this is a debate this year. I think it's clear, you look at the numbers, I don't think we've ever seen anybody shoot it at this frequency for this long. He's a former NBA'er. Who else? It's Jimmer. Jimmer Fredette of Team Miami. The man shot 45% from two range this year and had a high volume of shots. So we're talking about one in every two attempts in an outdoor game. So you gotta deal with wind, you gotta deal with the elements, and he's still knocking them down at that rate unbelievable I've never seen a shooter like this and we've had some great great shooters over the course of 3x3 but Jimmer is truly Hemmer this dude's got the best J since Beyonce
Shout out to Dr. Strange. I know he led the league in dunks, all right? But the best in-game dunker has got to be Air Parrot. James Parrot. Polly won a body. This dude was flying above the rim every time I saw him this year. I mean, every time, he didn't score a regular layup, I don't think. He don't shoot jumpers, he just dunks on people. He's athletic, he's got that long frame, he attacks the rim with aggression. I would not want to jump with this guy. Sometimes I call him Slim Reaper because he catches so many bodies. It's gotta be Air Parrot. Okay, so we show a lot of love to a lot of the young players in 3x3, but I want to give an OG award this year. And my OG of the year, shout out to my guy, Gilles Martin. I'm sorry, I, I still, I'm still working on the nickname. What do you think about the Swizzard of Oz? I could have very easily said he was the most exciting player of the season. Right up there with Worthy De Jong is, I mean, it's one, one and one. Walk and highlight. This dude got more highlights than ball his life, and he's 34. I mean, he's so, so fun to watch. Such a special player. He's literally a wizard with the 3x3 ball in his hand. So he's representing for the OGs, 34 and above. Shout out to Maestro, too. All right, I see you, Deion. But this one, Gilles Martin, OG of 2023. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Those are my end of season awards for 2023. I better see y'all in 2024. It's the Olympic year. See you next year.